What's going on guys? Skylord Studios 005 back here again. And today we're going to be doing a Plastic Gen haul review. Uh, I have two more bays coming in, but or technically three, but one of them is going to come in way later. Um, but I figured I'd get these five out of the way because I do have Whale Wave coming in tomorrow along with the Plastic Gen bays. So kind of declutter it in review schedules. So, um, yeah, so Plastic Gen, in case you guys don't know, Bakuten Shoot, were the original Beyblades. These are all the F Beyblades, so Dronzer F, Drigger F, and Drug Dragoon F. And they were the second lineup of Bays in the anime, um, I believe third in the manga. But, um, yeah, so I only have one left in that's Dragoon, and I did lose one of the clips here. Um... But basically, all of them are technically left and right spin. It just depends on the spin gear. So you have the blade base, which is, I believe, a rubber flat. You have the spin gear, which is a left spin gear. And then I believe the, the weight disc should be 10 wide or 8 wide, I believe. Yeah, eight wide, I believe. So, yeah. And then the idea is you take the blade base, put the spin gear inside of it, close it with the other two prongs, place the weight disc on, and then line it up and then twist it on. So it's like a prototype burst bay. And then, of course, put the bit chip in the logo or the bit beast logo in the middle. This one's kind of worn down. Keep in mind, these bays are over 20 years old. Uh, that's supposed to be Dragoon. Um... So yeah, um, since mine is, I got mine super worn, it's not super aggressive, so three, two, one, go shoot. By the way, I did make custom launchers akin to my Metal Fight Customs, so we have a red and a blue one, but yeah, however, if I'm able to flower pattern it, it can do some stuff. I will say, I was battling some plastic gem bays, if you guys don't think they're that bad, it did crack my nail down here. So, this one is more defensive. If you had a fresh one, it'd be more aggressive. But, uh, yeah, that was the first one I ordered. Uh, the second one I ordered is uh, Drigger F. And also, by the way, Dragoon is one of the four sacred bit beasts. There's Dragoon, Drigger, Dronzer, and Drasil. Uh, it is the blue dragon. And then uh, Drigger F is the white tiger. Um, and its gimmick is that it has a free-spinning metal flat. That whenever it's, I believe, launched, it locks into place as just a regular metal flat. And then when it slows down, it becomes free spin to save stamina. It has four blades. And yeah. Um, now I'll take my right spin launcher. Three, two, and go shoot. Whoops. Um. I guess this goes on a bit loose. Uh, but yeah. So since this is the right spin launcher, we do kind of need that to be, need that screw, but real quickly, let me go get my toolbox and I'll repair it. But in the meantime, feel free to watch your F spin. Um, thankfully, I did get multiple launchers, so I can just take a screw out of one of them and just throw it back in. However, I do not like doing that personally, but if I need to do it, I will. Um, here. I'm just going to this one. There we go. Got the screw up. And now I'm going to get to take. <clears throat> also, I did stand up, so that is nice. All right, so now I got that fixed. Uh, moving on, we have Dronzer F, and this is basically the, again, second Dronzer Bay. Um, it has basically an upper attack base thing, and then the gimmick is that you can rotate between three different tips. I personally like the sharp tip the best. But I did notice that mine, the one that I ordered, the bit chip, was super, super loose, causing it to burst a lot. 
So I did buy another bit chip for it. But that is the spike, or like the needle version. I believe as though this is supposed to be the semi-flat. Three, two, and go. If not, it's the flat. This seems like it's gonna be, It's it was intended to be the semi-flat. And then finally we have the no. the flat one. Three, two, one, go. You can see it's more aggressive now. So yeah, uh, this one is probably my favorite out of all of them just because of all the mode changes you can do. But yeah, and of course it depicts Gronzer, which is the red vermilion bird, or basically the phoenix. Um, next up, the last two I did just get today. And first off is Galleon, who is a member of the White Tigers. Um, and the gimmick with Galleon is that it has a free spin sub attack ring. And it has semi flat as the base. And yeah. So let's get a test launch. Three, two, one, go shoot. Now, if you look really closely, you can see that the yellow part isn't exposed, so it is still lined up. However, throughout the battle, if it spins, you will see the yellow part come out. I'm trying to see if maybe zooming in might help. There you go. You can see now it's out. And then... Now it's further back in. And again, it's back out. So it's supposed to be basically attack distribution or impact distribution. Um, and then finally have Wallborg, or Wallborg 2, which is a three-bladed, I believe, defense slash stamina type. It had rubber bearing. And it is supposed to be, I think, a wolf. So three, two, one, go. Shoot. Now, depending on the way you launch this, this can either be a super defensive stamina type, or, of course, since it has a rubber tip, it can be an aggressive attack type. It just really depends on how you launch it. So, without further ado, we are going to get into some battles. Um, I'm probably going to start off with Galleon v. Drigger v. Uh, Drigger F. So, 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And now the attack rings out. So Galleon does take the first point. Normally, I believe they're first to five, but we're only going to do a best of two, or first of three. Yeah, no, best of three, first of two, three, two, one, go. Shoot. Again with the screws, man. If I do it too tight, it's not enough. However, if I don't do it enough, it's just going to pop off. So I don't know. I'm going to have to find a different type of screw for this. Um. Shoot that. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. So now the attack ring is out, you can see. You can see it better off camera. You can kind of see it now. That is Galleon's win again. So Galleon, I believe, takes both points. So Galleon does win. Uh, moving on, we're going to do... Um, Wallborg versus Dragoon. So let's see. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Both of them are kind of defensive rubber tips. But Wallborg does take the first battle. 
three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Again, there's that crack in the stadium, so just keep that in mind. And Wallborg does take the second one, so Wallborg does win. So now it is um, Dronzer versus Galleon, and the winner versus Wallborg. So let's see. Three, two, one, go shoot. Starting off on needle, three, two, and go shoot. That is galleon, three, two, and go shoot. Three, two, and go shoot. We are going to reshoot that because I didn't like that way that I launched that. It kind of got locked up on the launcher. Three, two, and go shoot. Three, two, and go shoot. Right. If it does it again, then it's gonna be Galleon's win. Three, two, and go shoot. Maybe if I'd center it, that might work. Three, two, and go shoot. Galleons wins the Galleon will take on Wallboard. Three, two, and go shoot. Three, two, and go shoot. Galleons win. One point. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. That is Wahlborg's win. One to one. Three, two, and go shoot. Three, two, and go shoot. That was actually a decent launch. And then that is Galleon's win. So Galleon does win. I do want to do Dronzer versus Dragoon real quick because that's like an iconic battle. Um, we are going to switch Dronzer to the semi-flat tip. So three, two, and go shoot. Three, two, and go shoot. That is one point for um, Dragoon. Three, two, and go shoot. Three, two, and that's another point for Dragoon. So Dragoon does win it. Uh, I do want to try out the needle version. Okay. Honestly, today, Dronzer um, was doing a lot better. Three, two, one, go shoot. Yeah, so again, really, it's the power behind the launchers is kind of like the hard part, like nailing how much to do. Um, especially because I just got, like, built these custom launchers, so, yeah. yeah. All right, now that we got that fixed, let's try this again. Three, two, one, go shoot. There we go. Three, two, one, go shoot.
Yeah, you just have to, you have to get the right launch for it to work. So, it's kind of a tie. Three, two, one, two. There we go, flower pattern. Three, two, one, two. Bronzer. Three, two, and go shoot. Three, two, and go shoot. Also, I think Dragoon F is just so large, and that is Dronzer's win, that it's like, <laughs> it's kind of intimidating whenever it goes around, like, because of the size of it compared to Dronzer, but Dronzer does win that set, so I think it's like one in one set, so, yeah. Um, we'll do the final rematch, I guess. Final set. Three, two, and go. Three, two, and go. And that is a point for Dragoon. Ow. Three, two, and go. Three, two, and go. Oh, oh, Dragoon's still holding on. That is Dronzer, one to one, game point. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Oh, oh, hanging on. Dronzer is able to clutch that one. So Dronzer does win two of three sets. So Dronzer is able to beat it. Um, for the honestly, my thoughts on Plastic Gen, these are actually really fun. They're a lot more fun than I thought they would be. Um with all the gimmicks and stuff. I think they were more creative on this gen than Metal Fight. Um But yeah, if I was gonna say probably my favorite, honestly. At first, it was Dragoon. I When I was ordering them, I'm like, all right, Dragoon's going to be my favorite. But honestly, Dronzer F has really grown on me. I really like the change bit, uh, the change chip and the needle version of it. I used to have a holographic one, but then, like, the bit chip kept popping off and popping off and popping off. And that does constitute as a burst, so that is a loss. So, I decided to buy a new bit chip. Um, but, yeah. Overall, I think these are really cool. Uh, again, I still have two, three more coming in, but two on the horizon. And let me know what you guys' thoughts were in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.